Right, we're off and running. Now, uh, what we can do is, what we're going to do is we're going to go through, really firstly just introduce uh, Risey uh, and then um, we'll have a quick little chat like we did when Stubbsy came on and then um, Ryan's going to take you through a circuit. He's going to talk to you about uh, the focus and the emphasis today um, and, and how we're going to be doing it. It's what might be, it'll probably be a little bit different to how the session you did last week with um, Stubbsy. Uh, and then at the end, if we have time and if everyone's still able to get involved and talk and walk maybe, uh, we can then open it up to a couple of Q and A questions, but um, from from everyone's perspective here, uh, Ryan uh, is is a qualified uh, strength coach. He he works. This is his industry. This is his job. This is what he does. Uh, and I'll, I'll let him um, maybe give a little bit of a background um, in terms of his career, what he's been doing. He's got a couple of businesses that he runs, so he's a very very well credentialed guy. He does really well. So over to you, Ryan. What's uh What's your background and, and what have you been doing recently uh, while in ISO as well? Yeah, mate. Hashtag ISO life. Hey, good fun. So, yeah, I'll keep it short and brief. Um, my background pretty much uh, is bodybuilding. So I've done a lot of bodybuilding shows, um, both statewide and national. Uh, had a lot of success in that, which was great. Um, predominantly, that's where a lot of my clientele was. But recently, I've sort of shifted. Um, obviously, achieved what I wanted to achieve in, in bodybuilding. I've taken a little setback, recently had a little baby boy. Well, not me, my wife did. Uh, and another little one on the way. So um, obviously training hasn't taken a step back. It's just taken a little change. So I do a lot of this sort of stuff now. I still do a lot of the bodybuilding stuff, a lot of body weight circuits, that sort of thing. Um, Got to keep up with the little one, Joel. So yeah. he's already running around, as you know. Um, right. But uh, also have recently sort of launched another little business called The Fit Dads. And it's something where we, we try and help a lot of dads and being a father now myself, I know the, uh, the amount of time and stuff that it can take away from you with work and children and supporting the wife or what have you. Um, so, yeah, sort of been helping a lot of dads try and reach their potential, not just lose some weight, but, you know, understand nutrition more and um, be able to catch up with their kids more and actually play on the playground instead of watching them on the seat, watching other dads like myself run around with my little boy. So that's sort of where my, I guess, motivation lies these days and, um, helping not just young kids, but helping the dads out there, man. Someone's got to look after those dads. Absolutely. Love it. And um, so you're, you're involved, you're a cricket tragic. You love cricket. Um, have, have you played much or what, what, talk to me about your cricket like life and how, how you sort of come to love the game. Yeah, man. So obviously, uh, you know, I'm a lot older than a lot of the kids here, but my, my hero was Michael Bevan. Michael Bevan, that era, Mark War, whether, whether you kids know him. No. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you do. But yeah, he was my sort of idol. And I sort of played cricket from, uh, I think, pretty much eight years old, right up until I was about 16. Um, changed a bit from indoor to outdoor. I liked doing both. Indoor was kind of obviously really fast paced. I really enjoyed that. And then, um, you know, heading into outdoor was a bit more, uh, I guess, advanced, but in a good way. Yeah. So really enjoyed that. Um, so I haven't obviously played in a while. Too big, mate. I can't run down there, run down the wall as fast anymore. But yeah. um, but still love the game and obviously watch you play a few times and um, love sort of staying in touch with obviously what's going on these days and the new generation, so to speak. And it's awesome that you're training the new generation now of these kids. They're going to be coming up and they're going to be the next Michael Bevan Absolutely. or Dave Warner, whoever, whoever the hero is now, you know. Absolutely. And that's what we're, we're after. And we've spoken about... Uh, with people previously as well, how much of an impact that your your physical prep plays in in sport, but not only cricket, but also um, just general life. Um, you're obviously attesting to that, and your sort of philosophies around you know getting in and getting in shape and getting fit obviously has many benefits, doesn't it? Oh, mate, how long have you got? Can I speak for three <laughs> hours on that or not? Yeah. Um, look. They're very short, obviously a fit, a fit body and a fit mind, the, the two go together. So um, like you said at the start, I'm, I'm doing a lot now and multiple little businesses on the side and, and a father and little yeah. employees and stuff. Else. So you need to be on, man. And if, if I didn't train, um, well, I'd go crazy, especially at the moment with this whole ISO life thing. But um, I'll spend a bit of money and I've decked out my shed here and um, still training really hard and 
that obviously keeps my brain really switched on for, for doing other outside stuff and just um, personality and happy wise and stuff as well. So obviously I'm not a qualified doctor or anything, but you, you, your best thing you can do for depression is exercise, man. hundred percent. You start sweating and eat healthy and get yourself in shape. It's amazing how happy you become. Yeah, nice. I like it. Um, all right, well, let's have a chat. What, what, what are we going to be doing today? What's the, what's the aim? What's the focus? Uh, give us a bit of an explanation on what, what the boys and girls are going to be going through. Yeah, mate, 100%. Look, um, obviously not everybody at home has a pair of 30 kilo dumbbells that I'm going to take through a bodybuilding session. Yeah. Um, so we're just going to do like a body weight circuit. And obviously everyone's sort of locked in their house now, hopefully in front of the lounge room with mum and dad there. Um, so we're just going to sort of do something that everybody can do. Um, I think best way to do it that way. Uh, we'll run through 20, 20 odd minutes or whatever. We might do 10 minutes all lower body and 10 minutes all upper body. How I'll structure it is go through pretty much eight, eight or nine exercises down a list, all right? And we'll do all of them in a row. But we'll do, say, 40 to 45 seconds on as far as activity and about 15 to 20 seconds off. And that in that little period of 15 to 20 seconds, I'll kind of explain to you what we'll do next. I'll obviously do a little circuit with you. Uh, you can kind of watch uh, and go from there pretty much. I'll try and give as much education through here as I can. Obviously, I can't sort of see everybody doing it, but try and listen to my cues. Um, you know, for example, if it's a squat, watch how I do my squat. I'll give you little ideas to progress it if you want to progress it. Some of you might be able to do a squat really easy. Some of you might not. So I'll kind of throw in a few, few different variations. But um, yeah, that's how I, th I think we'll best go back. Absolutely. And just so everyone remembers as a reminder that if you want to continue to do this, this is going to be on our Facebook group where you can access it again later. So if you find that uh, you, you sort of get a bit confused at the end, you're like, oh, what were those activities that we did? Best thing I would say from my experience in these things, immerse yourself into it right now, do it, enjoy the session. And then after that, you'll always have an opportunity for us to be able to send you the link uh, find it in our closed group in Facebook to actually go through and have a look at and write down exactly each activity that he's told you to do. So um, without further ado, Risey, uh, off you go. You're running the show now. I'll take it back with I'll set it up. Let me get it so I can see what's going on. Where are we? Perfect. I'll get my timer out. Now, now guys, remember... As, he, as, you, as you're going, Ryan, one of the boys, uh, Lachlan, asked, how much space do we need? Is it just sort of space that you can just lay down or do a push-up in as well? Yeah, mate, like pretty much a square metre. You can see what I've got. I can do push-ups in this position, anywhere where I can squat lunge. Pretty much a nice little metre circle and you should be sweet. Perfect. All right, away you go. Wait. Now, guys, this is why we're doing like, you know, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, for example. So it's not like a rep target. You can go at your own pace. If I'm doing a certain pace and I'm doing a certain amount of exercise, you don't have to do it that far. If you can't do push-ups on your, on your toes, by all means, jump down to your knees, all right? You can do it that way. But I'll give you examples as we go along, all right? So your first one is just gonna be a body weight squat, all right? So I'm gonna do it with you. Follow with me. We're gonna go about 40 to 45 seconds and then a little bit of a rest. I'll explain what we'll do and then you can jump back in, but just follow my lead, all right? So first up, all we're doing is body squats. Hands behind the head. Squatting down nice and deep and straight up. So take your time with it. Again, you don't have to go too fast. You just do your normal reps. I'll tell you when the time's up, okay? From side on. Make sure you hit your depth. Don't sort of stop here. You get down nice and low because a lot more of your glutes are gonna be involved if you're getting down that low. All right, we're at 25 seconds. So keep going through here. We've got about 15 to go. Taking your time. Again, harder, hands behind the head, open up tall, feet nice and flat on the ground. You got three seconds. Nice. Okay, give yourself like 15 seconds or so. Next one, we're just gonna do one and a half squat. So one and a half squat is pretty much exactly what you just did, but you're gonna come up halfway. All the way down, a little bit here, straight back down, all the way up. A little bit. All the way up. So getting to that, we're on the clock. A little bit, straight up. A little bit, straight up. Your legs will start to burn. Mine are already burning. Hope yours are too, Joel. You better be doing it. Good. Straight up, where are we? 
20 seconds, guys. Straight up here. Good. Again, hands behind the head. Makes that a little bit harder. Really try to push your hips back and then squat into it, okay? Now, a little bit of a rest again. Next one, a squat hold. You're gonna go about three or four second hold down the bottom, okay? So I'll reset that time. Let's get ready for the hold. One, two, three, straight up. One, two, three. Perfect, make sure you hit depth. I don't want anyone stopping here. And don't go too low. You see, now our back's rounding through here. So I still stay up tall to here, straight up. So here, straight up. Make sure you hold. Good, up again. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Should be burning through the legs now. Two, one. Okay, rest on there. Next one, sumo squat. Now, a sumo squat. Again, this will be good for you to watch back later. You can run through a proper circuit. Now, sumo, you're a lot wider through your feet, opening your toes, hands here, touch the floor, straight back up. Touch the floor, straight back up. So because you're wider, you're gonna get a lot more through your glutes and the hammies. So from this way again, back, touch, straight up. Let's get into them guys, guys and girls. Here, first movement, hinging back, squatting down. Try not to let your knees track too far forward. So we don't want this, we want this. Straight back, straight up. You should be huffing and puffing now. I am, because I'm talking while I'm doing it. Good, hips back, drop into the hole. Where are we, 10 seconds on that one, guys. One more, good position, straight up, perfect. Now, where are we? Reverse lunge, now, reverse lunge, feet together here. Got the room, stepping back, straight back up. Stepping back, straight back up. Start them in five, four, three, two, one. Onto the lunge. Now remember when you do these, a little tip. Don't step back like this, because you'll lose your balance when you're going that way. Think about it when you're walking. Just go straight back, yeah? Straight back here, and you're in a good spot. If they're too hard, you can always do forward. Lunging forward, alternating through that. Real simple, guys. Getting your heart rate up, getting a good pump in the legs. 10 seconds there. Might swap back. Now I'm sweating. Good. Two seconds. Nice, okay, next one. Tough one here. If you have bad knees, mum and dad, if you're watching, maybe be soft on this one, but it's a pop squat. Now, a pop squat, what is it? You're gonna go wide, jump in, and jump out. So you can see, doing that, how much cardio is involved. You're jumping up and down a little bit. Uh, at the same time, obviously, you're pumping your legs. Okay, so that's on the clock, you ready? I'll do it from this side as well. Pop squat, let's hit it. Top, top, here, big breaths. Make sure you're breathing through your chest as high as you can. You can see I'm puffing, because I'm talking. I'm not breathing as much. Focus as much as you can, getting as much oxygen in, and then breathing it out. Squatting down, pop, and down, pop, and down. Hope you're jumping in the living room there, Joel. Good. Nice. Five seconds. Good. Good. Nice. Woo. Let's do it. Now, next up, we're nearly done with the legs. We're just gonna do a slow squat. So straight in. Do it on my count. Four seconds on the way down. 
One, two, three, four. Good. Good chance to get your breath back now, but your legs still get a good hit. Nice and slow. And up. Control, control, control. And up. Four, three, two, one. Good. Again, watch the hip depth. Here. Not here. Here. Perfect. Slow. Three more reps in there, I reckon. Good. Two. Four. Last one. Control, control, control. And up. Woo! They're burning. Last one. You're going to hate me. I'm going to hate myself. Jump squat. Perfect way to finish legs, right? Now, with your jump squat, gentle on your knees. Don't land like that. Land soft. So when jumping, think about like catching a cricket ball. You don't just catch it like this. You give it and you catch there. Same thing with the knees. So here, soft, 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 soft. The whole time. Still make sure you're getting your depth and get that explosiveness. You keep going, I'm going to breathe. Now this is going to help with cricket because anytime you're playing the front cover drive and you're powering through there, there's a lot of power that still comes down to your legs. Okay? Oh, now I'm puffing. There's a lot of power coming through your legs when you're playing cricket. When you're batting, also the bowlers planting that front leg. So doing your jump squats will really help that. Keep going. 10 seconds of jump squats. Give us three more. One, two, three. Woo! Okay. Legs done. Give yourself 30 seconds or so. Get your breath back. Get some water if you need. I'm going to reset that. <clears throat> I'm getting some water too. <clears throat> it's tough. I think it's one of those things where you can make it as intense as you want to make it. So even someone of my level now, I'm exhausted. This is booting my ass. So you can go as hard as you like. If you're doing jump squats, you power up there. You don't have to kind of just do little reps. The higher you jump, the more heart rate's going to hit. The more quads, the more glutes, the more hammies, more beneficial to you. Okay, so any program is going to be a win. It's the kind of intensity that you put into that program that's going to determine the success. Why do you think I've got the rock in the background over here? And I've got Arnold Schwarzenegger going this way. Two of the most influential, influential people in my life, besides Joel, of course. Now, upper body. Let's kick it. Similar process. Okay, so we'll go through like. 40 seconds, give yourself a little bit of time off. If I've got the gas in me, I'll keep talking through it. Otherwise, watch what I do, try and emulate that. And obviously, like Joel said, this is all gonna be recorded. We can go back, reassess what's going on. Now, first up, simple push up, okay? So, everybody get with me. We've got about five seconds. I'll time that here. Now, with your push ups, start on your, on your toes. If you need to get on your knees, you can get on your knees, okay? So. Make sure your hands, I'll do it this way here, your hands are directly under your shoulder. I don't wanna see people doing push-ups like this. Get your chest over your hands and do your push-ups like that. Okay, we ready? Ready for upper body? Bloody better be. All right, in three, two, one, let's go. Push-up time. I just trained chest, this is gonna to be tough. Let's do it. Full range, coming all the way down. Almost so your chest is touching the floor and straight up. Now, I don't want to have it like this. All right, try and keep your hips up. Keep your glutes flexed. Straight down, straight up. We're halfway there, 20 seconds in. Straight down, straight up. Straight down, straight up. Chest is pumped. If you want to make it intense, go faster. Pump it like this. You want to make it harder again, get a clap. Why not? Do that. You've got five seconds. You want to make it easier? You do it on your knees. Okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, chest is pumped. Now, give yourself maybe like five or 10 seconds. Next one, it's going to be a shoulder tap, right? So it's going to be very 
push up dominant this one. So again, you want to make it easy, jump on your knees. You don't have to do it on your toes, right? You want to make it hard, work for it. Now, if I'm in this position, I'll do it this way first. Shoulder tap. So, you're in here, opposite hand, just tapping your shoulders. Try and keep your hips nice and steady. Every time you do it, if you want to make it easier, again, on your knees, put through here, everything's stable, tap, 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 okay? Ready, three, two, one, and go for it. Now, while you're doing this, I'll remind you to be nice and soft on your hands, okay? I don't want you to kind of do your tap and plant your hand hard on the ground, yeah? Like this, same thing when you're catching a cricket ball, you hear? Just tap, soft, tap, soft. Because every time you're in this position and holding one arm, the whole body's working. Tap, all right, I'm with you now, 20 seconds. Let's work, team. Same thing. You guys want to make it harder? Add a push up. Add a push up. There it is. Oh, my chest is going to be sore tomorrow. Give me two more. One more. Nice. 45. 15 second recovery. Again, guys, you can do this with any movement. You can alternate upper body and lower body and go through 15 each time. Get ready for the next one now. Next one, we're gonna do a push-up windmill. Again, you can do the push-up if you like. Otherwise, just do the windmill. It's a really good stretch and open up for the chest. Now, if I'm in this position for push-ups, I'm gonna be here, open up, other side. Open up, other side, okay? Simple movement, done properly, you'll be hurting. You ready? 45 seconds on the clock. Let's do it. Same thing, nice and tall through your chest. I don't want you hunched like this. Stand up proud. I'm sure mum and dad always tell you. Stand up straight. Put your shoulders back. None of this posture shit, yeah? In push-up position. Up. Up. Hope you're all giving this a go. Again, someone like me, I'm puffing, I'm cooked. Obviously, I'm talking through the whole thing. Hopefully, you're not annoyed with my voice. Or my beard. Good. You can be enjoying looking at a rock in the background. Where are we? Got five more seconds. Get a couple more with me. I'll do this angle. Again, want to make it easier? On your knees. Simple. If mum and dad can't do it on the toes, make them. <laughs> All right. Now, next one. We're going to call this reverse angel. Now, reverse angel, you lie flat on your tummy and your arms pretty much come behind your back, so they're over your bum, and then up here, back there. So you're gonna do it on the floor, I'll make sure you can see me there. Yep, yeah, you can see me all right. Arms out in front, okay? Head down, back here, in the front. Back here, in the front. I'll get ready to time that. Good opportunity to get your breath back in this position too. Timing now, 40 seconds. Behind, in front. Keep your hands up. Don't let your hands lock on the ground. Keep them up. Behind, in front. Behind, in front. You'll feel your shoulders, your back all start to burn. Do not let your hands touch the ground in front of you. Okay, makes it a lot harder. Do it from this side as well, if you can see there. About 20 seconds, guys, in front. Back here. Don't put them on the ground. It's relaxing, it's too easy. Keep them up on top of your bum here with the thumbs in the front again. Keep them up. Five seconds, guys. Stay with me. Three, two, one. The yeah, lie, that was about seven. Now, halfway through your upper body. Now we're going to go straight into close grip push ups. Now, close grip push ups, exactly like we did with wide at the start, except you're here. Very simple. Make it harder. Turn your hands in slightly, because you're going to be here, pushing up and flexing your tries. You'll see my tries work. Again, they're in close, okay? Through here, tuck it in, push straight up, okay? Let's get ready to time that in three, two, one. Let's do it. Where are we? There, perfect. Now, close grip, arms tucked in. Let's go, straight down, 
Straight up, good flex and hold. Glutes are tight. I don't want to be up too much here. Straight down, straight up. You want to make it easy? On the knees, if you're struggling. Challenge yourself with the toes though. On the knees, it's a similar thing. You're still going to be here. Elbows are tucked in. Straight there, straight up. Control. Good control down. Flex and squeeze up. Tries are still as important as any other muscle in the body. You always want to have balance, okay? Into that position again and push up. Where are we? 10 seconds. I better do them harder. Back up here, tuck them in and push. Tuck them in and push. Two more. And push. Go one more. Perfect. Three to go. Now, next one. We call this renegated rows. Usually in a gym, you would do this with a pair of dumbbells. Okay, you'd be in a push up position, holding a pair of dumbbells, raising one arm up and then the other arm. We can still do a body weight. Okay, so again, chest is gonna be pretty cooked because you're gonna be in a uh, push up position into here. Okay, and you're gonna alternate rowing your arms up and back. So push up here, you're gonna row, 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 and row. Don't let your hips move back and forward like that. We're not here to twerk, we're here to work. As that, hashtag that. We're ready, renegade row in five, four, three, two, one. Go for it. This is the third last one. You've got two more exercises after this and you're done. So go hard. Row, row. Again, gentle on the hands, soft landing. It's harder, means all this is working. Soft landing, make it a little easier on the knees. Row, 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 halfway there. Row, row. Try and get that. What we're trying to do, you can see from behind, I'm trying to flex everything in my back, yeah? So I'm trying to go like this. Row, 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 every time. But you can see that angle, you can see my lats work. Row, row, row. Keep going, you got five seconds. Give me two more each side. Next one's tough. Mountain climbers, everyone's favorite. Really, really good for abs. Still working upper body, because you're in that push-up position, okay? Working lower abs, because your knees are going forward. Again, go at your own pace. You want to go fast? Go fast. You want to go slow and contract your abs? Go slow and contract your abs, okay? Now, what is a mountain climber? For those that don't know, you're in a push-up position like this, okay? And you're just going alternate with your knees, okay? I'll do a side on here. Alternate with your knees, okay? Everybody in position? I hope so. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Mountain climbers, come on guys, last couple, you've got 45 seconds, stay with me. Alternating through. You should be able to do these, just holding your body weight. You wanna make it easier? You can probably still do knees. It's just not as good an effect. If anything, it probably hurts your knees more. Let's go, nearly halfway. Tuck it in, tuck it in. Doing well. I'm still puffing. Chest is firing, tribes are firing. Let's go. 10 seconds. Good. Seven, five, four, three, two, one. Good stuff. Last one, everyone's favorite. A plank. Finish with a plank, guys. You're gonna go a minute for this one, or at least 40 seconds again. Let's get ready. I'll get ready to time. Now, those that don't know what a plank is, elbows in this position here, under there, we're just gonna hold that. Okay, this is working all through your abs, your obliques, glutes, everything. Awesome, again, relating this stuff to stability through cricket movements, okay? Now, we're all ready for that. Get in position, I'll come in after you. Get in position now in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do it, guys. Work together here. We're a team. All right, plank position. Where are we? You lost me there. Here we go. Yep. Head down. Hold that position, guys. Now, you want to make this harder. Try and push your elbows forward slightly. Really flex your arms. Keep your glutes tight. Keep your abs tight. You want to make it harder again. You can do buzzsaw planks. Now, a buzzsaw plank is in this position. Rock forward, rock right back. Rock forward, rock right back. 
You can see that's pretty much doing everything there as well. We've got 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Guys, ripper session. I'm pumped, I'm sweaty. Uh, that was crazy. So again, remember what we've done here, Joel's filmed this. So pretty much what we can do, you can go back over this. If you're gonna record it, do this every day, man. Imagine how good you'd get. Look how sweaty I am. I'm smashed from it. I'm cool. I was talking, but still getting a really good pump from it. So nice work. How'd you go, Joel? Yeah, I'm a little bit uh, hot and sweaty now in this uh, small office room, working oh. up. Cara was in the living room as well. My fiance Ryan knows really well. She had a good session because she's working from home as well. So, as you said, everyone, everyone can do it, can't they? It's not just the kids. It's uh, the parents and the families as well. Get mum and dad involved. Get your sisters involved. It's awesome. Um, awesome. All right, let me let me um, let me get our questions up. If anyone's got any Q and A's. Um, I'm trying to catch my breath, but if anyone's got any Q and A's, pop them in the uh, Q and A box, and I will do my best um, to answer them. Well, actually, no, I won't be. I'll be handballing off to Ryan. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, Matty Lawrence asked, "Do you use these exercises in your workout at all? Usually, hundred percent. Yeah, like I said, like I'll always go for weights first. Um, to try and build strength and size that way. And again, depends on everyone's goal. But like I said, with this whole ISO life thing, these, these, are, these things are awesome to do at home and get mum and dad involved. And um, that's a great conditioning workout for me. So you can see like, I'm still a sweaty mess from all that. So doing that, um, again, is really good on my off day. So the days I don't do any weight training, they're really good for conditioning stuff, working on your metabolism, um, burning fat, um, and helping out through that sort of thing. So 100% brother, I would do that. Um, again, weights will be my first option, but nothing wrong with doing that as well. And if people don't have access to weights at the moment, obviously because the gym's there, um, that you can do this. But yeah, 100% man, like a lot of my size doesn't necessarily come from that. It comes from using, using weights for bodybuilding. But this stuff's good for my fitness and mentality as well, so. Yeah, um, very good. Um... Ozzy asked, why did you start doing, he said, I, I started doing the workout, but I'm guessing why did you start doing what you're doing, like a, a strength trainer? Uh, so, yeah, well, again, <laughs> how long have you got? Um, <laughs> I'll make it short. Pretty much when I was, I'm going to get real personal here, when I was 16, I was gang bashed by uh, about four or five guys and left me in hospital. I was very skinny, um, unable to really defend myself. And this guy behind me, The Rock, was one of my main motivations and he kind of got me into training. Um, and I started to feel amazing from getting a bit of size on me, but also just feeling better in the gym and training and playing cricket and footy and all these sort of things. So I wanted to help other people feel the exact same thing that I feel every day in my life now. Um, nobody, and you can hear in my voice when I talk about it because I'm passionate, but no, and I'm because I'm smashing this workout, but nobody should be out of shape. And I 100% believe that everybody should be in shape um, because they're missing out on life. We only get one life here. And uh, if, if at all, you are depressed because you're overweight or if you are unhappy because you're underweight and you want to look better and feel better in yourself, then I encourage you to get into the gym and train because that's, that's why we all feel good and that's why I still like to coach people. Um, it's why I like to work with dads now. I um, still work with a lot of mums and, and young athletes and stuff as well, but that's pretty much my reason why I not only got into training, but obviously got into coaching. I just I love coaching people. I love helping people, whether it be business or whether it be training or anything like that. So... Um, that helps. Very nice. I like it. Um, Josh Marsh asked, uh, how long should you do this each day? So how long do you reckon is too long to go for? Is that a good time? Should it be a little bit more, a little bit less? What are your thoughts? With that type of intensity, man, like 30 minutes is good, eh? Like uh, what we do then, we did sort of 10 minutes upper, 10 minutes lower. Um, if I'm doing any like face-to-face -face or any little uh, online Zoom stuff at the moment, no worries, Jonty. <laughs> If I'm doing uh, any face-to-face -face stuff at the moment, um, sorry, online Zoom stuff at the moment, forgive me, um, 30 minutes is plenty because like I said, you do it like that. Um, I think if you're doing more than 30 minutes on that, you're not going hard enough. So like I said, if a body weight squat's too easy, jump squat. It's all um, based on your intensity level, what you put into the session. So um, I wouldn't go less than that. It's not really enough. 
Um, but I wouldn't be doing that for too long. Um, I reckon anywhere from sort of oh, 25 to 40 minutes, preferably around that 35, 40 minute range. Yeah, love it. Um, Tom Blows asks, do we do legs and arms at different times or different days? Or can you do, um, can you do sort of dual stuff like we did there? Or would you rather sort of get, you know, one, one time of upper body, one time of lower body? Or what do you think? Are you, are you sort of saying in the gym or how we are now with ISO? Uh, I, I dare say probably uh, gym, but also, yeah, I guess in general, I'd say. Look, there's so, again, there's so many different variables and so many different ways to train with that. The majority of the time, I would always split upper and lower together. So how I train now, I always do about four or five days a week. Three of them are upper body and two of them are lower body. So um, I might, let's say if we go Monday through to Sunday or whatever, excuse me, Monday and Thursday would be my upper body days and Tuesday and Friday would be my lower body days. And Saturday, like, for fun, I might throw in, like, an arm pump for, or whatever. But what I'll even do, mate, is I'll message you, for example, exactly what I would do in a gym, and you can kind of share that out to people. I don't care about that. Like that and I'm happy to sort of just say, this is what I do. Um, this is how I've always trained. Sometimes during my bodybuilding career, if you want to call it that, I, you know, would just train chest by itself. But especially with these young guys now and girls, if you're – Trying to get strong and get into a gym and, and just be a better athlete and be a better performer. Um, doing isolation stuff is not going to be your best bet. So um, plenty of bench, bench press, plenty of squats, plenty of deadlifts, all the big compound movements. Those that don't know, a compound movement is anything that involves more than one joint. So to answer your question there as well, like if you're just doing arms, yeah, cool, we can get a cool pump. But if, if you do a bicep curl, a bicep curl is simply an isolation movement, meaning one joint. Whereas something like a bench press, for example, is multiple joints. So you're working chest, shoulders, arms, tries, back, everything all at once. Same thing with a squat. So do not neglect legs. Um, don't be that kid at school with a big upper body and small little legs, yeah? So, um, but yeah, like I said, Joel, I'll send you, for example, a little, little idea of what I would do um, in the gym currently, what my sessions are, so that the guys can get a bit more of an idea with that. Perfect. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for um, your time, mate. As I said, um, yeah, really, really appreciate it. Uh, the boys and girls who are on here really, really enjoyed it. Their messages coming through saying they loved it. They had a heap of fun. Um, they feel good. Thanks for getting me fit, uh, Lachlan said. Um, yeah, all good. Um, so thank you very much, mate. And, and as I said, if there are any parents that are watching this, um, any dads in particular, who are looking for some inspiration uh, and doing stuff that you're doing. You know, you're doing some really good work and I've, I've seen some, some results that your, your group and your community are doing. So check out the, uh, is it the Fit Dads? Yeah, so you can, you can either just jump on the Facebook page and just type in the Fit Dads and it should come up. You'll see my ugly mug with my business partner, Liam. Um, we love it. Very, very affordable what we're doing as well. And the end of the day, we just want to create a community of fit dads. Otherwise, the alternative, mate, give us a follow on the Instagram. Uh, you can even put that up, at Ryan Underwood 01, because there's only one. And he's humble. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I sort of put a lot of training stuff up there as well, guys. So um, every day I'm active on my story, whether it be of my son, uh, you know, hanging out or whatever, or whether it's being in the gym or training. So even now in this little ISO time, I'm giving pointers on how to contract your chest or how to flex your back or this sort of stuff. So um, give us a follow on that as well. And uh, be always happy to answer any questions. Um, I'm not one of those guys that's going to go leave me alone. Joel, you know this 100%. I reply to every single person that messages through. So because I was once that young kid, man, that just wanted to learn. And um, now that I'm that person that can give back that knowledge and um, help other people either get big, if that's what they want to do, or get in shape or simply have a better life, then I'm all there for it. Love it. Awesome. Thanks very much, mate. We'll uh, speak soon once uh, the isolation's all finished. We'll catch up. But thanks again for your time. Pleasure, mate. Anytime. All right. See you. Cheers.